pretty good outing for you. Just uh, general thoughts to start with. Uh, you know, I, I thought they came out ready to swing the swing the bat pretty well, and you know, kind of jarred me a little bit at first. But I was able to pitch down the zone. And I guess it was the second inning. Jameson gets a big hit. You know, once you get a lead, you know, it's a little bit easier to pitch. And you know, they start you know kind of pressing for runs. You know, let the defense work behind you. I think we turned a couple of double plays, so I think we're really sound defensively. We looked really good. The game moved right along. Were you expecting to go all the way, or did you? Uh, what was the talk thing? Uh, you know, really wasn't until the eighth inning after I finished the eighth. Coach B came up to me and wanted to know if I wanted to finish it. You know, of course, a competitor and he wants to finish, so that was, it was about the eighth inning. I think you were about under 100 pitches. It seemed like you were really efficient on wasting a lot of pitches. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was able to mix all three of my pitches in there. So uh, when you can do that, it's, it's a little bit easier to get, you know, some ground balls and stuff like that. And it helps move the game along a lot faster. Chris, is it usually optional? Like, hey, coach, I'd like to come in. I'd like to stay out. I'd like to finish the game. You know, what, what are those discussions usually like? I don't know. I mean, he came up and asked me if I wanted to finish. And I think we both knew the answer to that. You know, I don't want to come out in the eighth inning or ninth inning. You know, I want to finish the game, and, you know. You knew Crane was an All-American yet tonight. And you know, the last time he faced him, he got a guy on second base. And you on that cutter, did you do a cutter fastball, or how'd you get him out? On that what, what, inning, guy they have? what inning was this? No, the second, seventh, or eighth inning. They had a guy on second. That's the guy got on second base against. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. When I struck him out, yeah. I, I just threw a fastball on the outside corner. You know, Coach B called a, I think it was like a mini wave ball, so it's back an inch or two off the plate. You know, uh -huh. I had my spot, and the umpire gave it to me, so it was, uh -huh. it was good. The stadium gun still had you at about 90 um, at the end of the game, so I'm assuming your arm felt pretty good the whole way through. Yeah, it felt good. I mean, we've been conditioning for this, you know, all fall and all spring, you know, with bullpens and everything. So it wasn't, it wasn't too hard, you know, especially when you get ground balls and don't get too deep into pitch counts. You know, it's a little bit easier. This is 15 shutout innings for you to start the year. Just how high is your confidence right now? And how much has these first two starts helped it? Oh, it's helped it a lot, you know. And it, you know, it's also helped that our offense is, you know, scoring runs. You know, in the early innings, it's a lot. Like I said, it's a lot easier to pitch when you get run support behind you. And you know it helps knowing that you can fill up the zone. And, you know that you got guys behind you that's going to make plays and get you out of jams. When was the last time you had a complete game shutout? <laughs> Never. Never. No, Even first in Spain? time. Uh, I don't. I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe one, but I, I don't. I don't remember it. Last time you had a complete game over there. It, sir. When was the last time you had a complete game? Period. <laughs> maybe when I was little. <laughs> <laughs> when did you know uh, tonight might be a special night for you? Oh, I don't know. I mean. You know, you'd like to think every night would be a special night for you, but, you know, I guess around the seventh or eighth inning, you know, I figured it was going good. You know, if I continue just to throw strikes and, you know, get guys to ground out and hit my spots, then it'd be good. Has Ben being the Friday night guy been what you expected it to be? Yeah, it is. You know, I like having beer showers in there after the game and, you know, pitching at night and having all these fans, you know, it's a great atmosphere and it's, it makes it a lot easier to pitch.